Exactly. All right. Welcome back. Another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast right here and right now. And uh, we are pleased to be joined by uh, NTT Data IndyCar Series driver, David Malukas. Wow. Yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I uh, Yes, I'm an IndyCar driver now, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. There is, there, you know, anything with you, there is absolutely no, okay, w- this is going to be fun. Uh, wh- what's up, buddy? How are you? I am very good. Well, in general, very good. But at the moment, I'm a little bit sick. But other than that, yes, I am very good, very happy. Just for the, um, for the, at the time of recording, just to let everyone know, it's like, you're, you're doing all right. Um, no, like COVID or anything like that. Yeah, no, no. Just, okay. just a cold or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had that a few weeks ago. So that was, uh, that was fun. So it's what the is the past? Listen, it's the Chicago weather. It's below freezing now. It's like, you know, and then one time you end up going outside without a jacket on, that's it, done. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not looking. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, Michigan weather is just about the same. But yeah, we're not we don't get all that. Yeah, Chicago's its own thing. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so let's. Uh, what have the past few months been like since uh, since the announcement a few months ago? That you're going to be full time IndyCar with uh, Dale Coin. Uh, a lot of gym time um, since the announcement. Well, even before the announcement, after my first test, it was really just, I went straight to the gym and tried doing it every time. The only day I actually had a break from the gym was these past couple of days since I've just been a little bit sick. So I just thought I should probably stop any, you know, workouts, just let myself recover. But uh, yeah, no, the uh, just gym really. And since the announcement, not, nothing too special uh, happened or changed. Uh, and also kind of when the announcement happened, it was right after the holidays. So or before the holidays, I can't even remember what happened, but around the holidays. So yeah, it was kind of a time when everybody kind of was already just uh, in their break anyways, but yeah, it was uh, last few months, nothing really too exciting. No, okay. Um, (laughs) Well, I mean, everything's exciting with you. Um, uh, Okay, let me ask you this. How many cups of coffee have you had today? Okay, listen, I'm so glad, hold on. I, this is just something on my screen. So I knew you were going to ask this question. And this is I why, mean, why not? This is what I was telling you before the meeting. So this is, so, okay, listen, I, I, I go into this uh, preseason indie car driver meeting, which by the way, I'm sitting here right next to me, Will Power. I'm just having a normal conversation with Will Power. He's just like, hey, I'm like, hey, <laughs> just in an indie car meeting. I don't know, I was having a real kid moment there. I was like, I was like, BK was next to me. I was like, oh, that's willpower right there. Like, that's him. That's the guy. So, uh, yeah, and uh, had a normal conversation with him. But anyways, moving forward. So I, I'm looking at all these drivers, all these IndyCar drivers. You know, they, they, they're really healthy. You know, they got all these special people. I had nobody, you know. like I was like, man, I should probably focus in on my health, you know, get ready for the season. So I go into a nutritionist, right? Go to nutritionist, and I tell them I drink coffee, how much. They tell me to stop. So I was like, okay all right well i get yeah i get it okay oh no so listen this is what happened i am i've uh, transferred to tea i have not drank coffee for like two months now Wow. yes i know a bit of sad news but at the same time it's it's interesting you know unexpected from david malukas but they you know they tell you when you stop drinking coffee you you know you go down you know, and then you, you go back up and then you have energy all day. Listen, this is what happened. I went down, had migraines for a whole week. I, I just hated everything. I just, I was just, I couldn't look at the light. I was like, I was hiding in my room. I'm like, I don't want to do anything. Second week, migraines stopped. Third week levels kind of went to normal, but it wasn't normal, like high energy all day. It was normal as in like just low and just low all day, like ready to just on the brink of sleep. So those first three weeks was no caffeine, but then I, I've gone to tea. So a little bit better, but you know, it, it's not as much as caffeine, not, not as much caffeine as coffee. So we're at a good level now. Okay. Yeah. I, hey, I mean, I don't drink coffee, so right, yeah. I wouldn't know. Yeah. It's um, you're getting off of it pretty tough. I knew I was addicted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so I mean, I've known you for, good Lord, 
four or five years and you drink probably drink so much coffee so for for i have no idea how long but yeah. um yeah it's uh definitely a big step it's like you know i'm kind of trying to lose a little bit myself here yeah uh, yeah you know hey listen i got that new title the indycar driver i, it's I just know a, i know not the same anymore i'm gone <laughs> oh my um so i know that there's going to be some testing coming up and yeah, the testing there's, you know, there's a lot of that. I, that there's something you're used to, unlike the other world I cover, which, which is like non-existent to testing. Of course, I'm talking about NASCAR. Um, but I know that what, what are your plans like for the rest of the year going through that? In in what way? Like with the, what I mean? Yeah, it's, that's, it's been that kind of day. Um, what are your plans for the rest of the off season before you get, um, before you get going at St. Pete? Oof, well, off season, I mean, what, it's like about a month left, really a month and a week or two. So, uh, off season wise from my end is realistically just sim work and, um, just working out. There's also, I don't even know if I can say anything about it. There's like a IndyCar deal that we're going to do I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to get in trouble <laughs> but um, before the season starts I don't know if it's like out there yet but cool uh, <laughs> and then uh, but other than that um, realistically yeah I mean and I think we're doing a test um, at Sebring before St. Pete yeah. uh, but it's actually not too much testing uh, very minimum uh, yeah. and I haven't tested since you know the Penske test at IMS Right. And then the one at Barber. So testing has been very uh, yeah. marginal. Yeah. So, okay. What are you most looking forward to this season? Most as in track wise? Yeah. Why not? Um, well, Nashville is what I'm excited for. I know I've heard the rumors of the track, you know, not being. Uh, yeah, we know. Yeah. It's bumpy. <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> Uh, yes. Well, I drove at Detroit. Detroit was really, really bad. Um, it, it's not, it's not, it's bumpy, but it's not bad. I mean, it is my home. Well, to me, like for a street course for not being bad is St. Pete. St. Pete to me is not bad. That's pretty right, good. Right. It's like, yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, Detroit to me was at least for street courses that I've been to Detroit was the worst, um, in bumpiness to me. I mean, I bumped into the walls. So. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so I think that's why it's my worst. But um, yeah, I'm really excited just for kind of the experience. I've never been to Nashville and I heard it was kind of just a pure insanity of its own. So I want to experience it myself. And I'm also interested to go to Road America. Um, I want to see how we can do at my kind of my home track in, in IndyCar. Also, it's, you know, a lot of straights, cars really fast. I want to see, you know, going through all those corners, how, how much speed we can carry. Yeah, Road America, well, of course, you know, Road America, your home track, also where you got your first win. So yeah. that's that's I'm looking forward to there. What about the Indy 500? Have you thought about that yet? I'm uh, trying not to. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Uh, I didn't know. I mean, it's, dude, it's so fast. I mean, I can't even imagine when I watch him. You know, I'm just like, oh, that's fast. And when I was like, you know, and then now, you know, we're gonna have to do it. But you know, I have a little bit of experience from Indy Lights, going only, you know about 200 miles an hour um but at least i kind of have a rough idea of what to expect with the tunnel vision and um yeah but i'm just uh, what i'm most excited for is just the crowd of the new 500 i mean i think that's just going to be crazy yeah it was um a couple a couple buddies went up there um were up there last year and they they just told me it was one of the most insane things ever um yeah so i know that you know a little bit of familiarity of course your friends at hmd are coming with you um what's that been like it's been great i mean so smooth so everything with the dale coin the hmd the merging everything is just so awesome uh everybody all around is just like family it's like very calm yet collective yet just awesome yet just like everything i've ever wanted in in a team and as soon as i went to dale coin before a test I just felt like I was at home. Like everybody's so homey, everybody's so friendly. I'm just like, hey, don't know you, but like I feel like we've been besties for you know years. Yeah. So 
Yeah, and HMD, everybody that I've known there has always just been amazing. And coming to the Dale Coin, just more amazing people. So for me, I'm just, I'm really happy to be here. Are you ready for your first, like, have you ever been in one of those, like, IndyCar, like, Zoom call things, like, with all the, all of us, all of the, all of media members there? Do you, do you ever, are you, are you ready for that? Well, I already think. Days are coming up. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, sorry. Um, <laughs> but I, there was one, I did that kind of. At, uh, at IMS after our test, we they, they kind of did that, you know, at the, the press conference kind of deal. So, um, yeah, I think I'm ready for that. I mean, I don't I don't think there's any difference to it. Like instead of just talking to one on one, it's, you know, one versus, you know, 50. I don't know. There, there was a game show called one versus 100. I don't know if you knew that, but it's like it's kind of like it's kind of like there's like a bunch of people like on the screen there. It's like, yeah. you know, everyone's trying to like fire questions at you and you got to be like, Oh, I got to be ready for that. I've got to be ready for that. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. And that's how we do it. I don't know. I like it. I mean, wow. So many people want to know what about me. I'd be, I'd be excited. <laughs> do you, so, okay. So if, do, how many like congratulation texts have you gotten or anything like about calls, texts, tweets, Instagram messages? How many of those have you got? Um, I, I don't, I can't really count. Uh, it's a lot. I, I know it's a lot. I don't, I don't know, roughly. I don't know. A lot. Okay, so maybe I'll ask this. What was the best one you got? Anyone stand out? Anybody that I raced with in go-karting, those ones to me really hit me because it was like a couple people that I, I really haven't talked to since the go-karting. And they hit me a message just like saying like, hey, I'm so glad like one of us made it, you know, and, and to me, that was just like, wow, you know, uh, it was also just the whole cart life deal. A lot of them was from cart life, like, oh, because, you know, the show, that drama show that it was all about trying to go pro. Right. And I guess, we, you know, we ended up going pro. So everybody was just messaging me as like a joke, like, oh, you, you made it. You, you made you went pro. So <laughs> those were really funny to me. I was like, yeah, we did it. We're pro now. Yeah. And you, and the thing is like, going back to your karting days, like you, cause you competed with like guys like Simon Sykes, of course, um, Sam Mayer, of course, who runs in the NASCAR Xfinity series. Um, all those guys, it's like, do you look back on those days? It's like, wow, I did that. Yeah. I mean, it is crazy. Cause it felt like it was just yesterday. And, uh, and I look back and I, and I look at all, all of, uh, you know, my friends back then that I used to race with and we're all like grown ups now and doing our own different things. So yeah, it's just surreal. You know, life is uh, in those moments, you just see how, how quick life is going. Yeah, it's kind of like high school. It's like, you know, you wait like eight, like, you know, eight years and all that stuff. It's like, okay. Now, I mean, yeah, my classmates are all having kids now. So that's how it's like, yeah, it just yeah. comes at you fast a little bit there. Okay. So I thought of some more questions because, you know, this is needs to get more interesting because it's already interesting enough because you're on here. Um, let me ask you this. What reality show would you go on out of the following? Survivor, Amazing Race, or Big Brother? Survivor. Okay. Um, what is, if you could eat one thing that, that it's, I, I know that the big, I know that IndyCar drivers have to stay fit and big diets, of course, and that what would, what would be something like, if you could eat that, like one certain thing that could break the diet, what would that be? Oh, I can break the diet. If you could break the diet for one day, what would you eat? It's going to be a, 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 a non-famous uh, one that you probably won't be expecting, but chocolate covered rice cakes. Rice, chocolate covered rice cake. Do those things exist? Wow. I did not yes. know that. It is so good with like tea or, or a co co coffee would be so nice with it. Nah, man. Now I want coffee. Are you going to get back on the coffee? No, I can't. I'm on such a good streak. I, I can't get back on the coffee. Okay. How, much, how long have you been without coffee? About two months now. That's good. Yeah. No, really good. Yeah. I know it's been great. I haven't, you know, the thing is I haven't drank any alcohol ever. I haven't really, I don't drink pop that often. You, yeah, I'm boring. Um, it's like, you know, water, you know, obviously the, the tasting. Of, yep, there you go. Um, I, I drank Gatorade for a little bit 
for a few weeks. That's probably because I got the booster shot and all that. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was quite interesting. Okay. So have you gotten into like any like other like sports or something besides like, I, I know race drivers are still focused on like, you know, racing, but I know other drivers are like, you know, they have fans of other sports and of course you're in Chicago, um, you know, Blackhawks, Bulls, Cubs, White Sox, Bears, anything like that? Sky? Yeah, um, as like a as a fan, the only I mean, I do take a bit of interest in Blackhawks because Chicago Blackhawks are pretty good in the hockey realm. Um, so they are, have, they're, they're not doing too good right now, but yes, yeah, not right now. But you know, we we had our experiences and we're pretty good. And when I went to actually go watch when I was uh, younger, you know, that's when they were kind of dominating, and so it was just really cool to watch. Um, but as another fan, I'd probably just say uh, soccer, um, or as people in England like to say, football. Um, I watch their football, actually, Premier League. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, You're into um, all that? I didn't know yes, that. I, I, yes, I am. I you am. have a well, team. A lot of my friends are, you know, English, so. Have you picked know. a team? Yes, I have picked a team. Okay, what is it? Okay, well, you say you're first. I, well, my a bunch of my friends got me into Liverpool, so. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay well no that's good that's fine that, that that's fine because all my friends are also liverpool but uh no i'm chelsea you know that's you know that's okay i mean it always, yeah. uh, we recently drawed so yeah i mean as long as you're not that 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 the other the united people there there's something else or which one there's so many united manchester united uh right okay yeah that yeah that the red squad that parent not not us but the the other united yeah, yeah. It's weird um yeah weird whatever uh it's it's what it is okay yeah it's 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 something so yeah a bunch of friends got me into that I, i've been watching i'm in a casual watcher i mean i just got peacock so i mean i'll yeah. just watch that yeah same i i got peacock for the whole indie lights deal and i saw that they had the premier league on there so like, oh, okay. yeah the premier yeah the, well now that nbcsn's gone now you can watch it on there yeah, I've been watching also the Chili Bowl, too, on the Flow Racing. Are you into, like, dirt stuff? Do you ever want to go try that? Mm, uh, no, I've never, like, uh, I mean, I don't mind. I think it's really cool, but I've never looked into it or had, you know, in my, when I was a child, never looked through it. But I have a very close friend who's very into it. So they uh, they kind of show, show me some stuff. But. Yeah. Are, would you ever try NASCAR? Uh, I mean, yeah, I try it. I think it's to try definitely, um, just to see because I can't really say much. You know, I haven't driven it before. I can't say anything about it until I drive it. So, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. It's weird. I mean, I mean, that's. I mean, I'm in that world all the time, and it's like, yeah, it's like now we want to go over there. I mean, Sage Karam's driving stock cars, and Santino's dipped his toe in in the stock cars and stuff, and a lot, a lot of others wanted to try the NASCAR world from bunch of drivers that i've talked to over the years around the indy car paddock so i was just wondering seeing what you what you wanted to try because i know indy car is the, the main thing you want to do and the thing that you're focused on but there's always all the all these other opportunities but also here's another one 24 would you ever try like an imza car or 24 hours of daytona would you ever do that yes that's always in the talks actually every year um but I don't know. We'll see. The main goal was to just wait till, till IndyCar, fully focus on that. And then maybe after our first year of IndyCar, we'll see. Um, but yeah, maybe we might do something like that. But it's always been in the talks every year. Okay. Okay. Name three things people may not know about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, yeah, I know. That's why I asked it. Okay. Well. <laughs> Okay. I, I i gotta do it man it's, it's, yeah, but it's i don't even know uh <laughs> i mean it's about you though yeah uh i don't know three things that people don't know about me i i guess i uh i'm a hardcore gamer i guess yeah i don't think people fortnite, might know call of duty any like, oh, like no, 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 fortnite oh no 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 come, come on really no uh no, I play more, uh, I mean, okay, for like mainstream games, the one I only play is Apex Legends, which is PC only, because I, I have a PC, so yeah. there you go, that's like the main, but I normally play like just kind of low-key games, low -key. Like, yeah. but um, I'm now a, hard, a hardcore matcha drinker, I like matcha, since I'm, I'm not having the cough anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is that? Um, I don't even know what that is. Am I, am, I, am I like missing something here? Wait, you don't know what matcha is? No, it's, I don't. It, it's like green tea. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. And then uh, let me think, let me think. Um, oh, I, I'm really into like music. I really like, uh, not like just music in general, but I really like um, high quality, high fidelity music. So mm-hmm. any 200 speakers or headphones, um, all that hi-fi stuff. I'm really interested in that. It's yeah. Kind of from like all a- the times that you spent in coffee shops. I mean, yes, exactly. So that's, yeah, that's the one thing. And, um, I, that's it. I, I mean, I don't know what else, what's something I enjoy doing. Other than just making coffee, but I can't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you're gonna break your streak, and I'm going to laugh so hard. I have like 20 different coffee machines down, like not just machines, but like French presses, percolators, pour overs. Like I got so many different versions, that I just they're just picking up dust now. I can't use it anymore. I need to. I need to see this. I'm like, yeah. wow, it's insane yeah i have a lot of stuff yeah I, i'm yeah big coffee but now i can't. you know you know you can actually you know there you can actually sell those on you know it's called ebay and you can sell yeah them. i know but i don't i don't want to sell them because i just have i have a connection with them you know he's gonna go back to drinking coffee i, I just don't know when but it's gonna happen yeah probably, probably. you know um I, i'm gonna see i'm gonna get i'm gonna if you pass seven months without any coffee i will be very surprised i will be yes, me as well yes if you pass seven months if you okay seven what do you gotta do okay so all right seven months i need to do something after seven months if you get if you have seven months no coffee what should i do i gotta think of something i don't know i'm trying to think of something that could correlate yeah um i don't know we'll figure it out yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something okay. out. All right. All right. David Malukas, thank you so much for coming on, man. The all. And you never know what you're going to get with you. And the thing is, if, if, if you've never met this kid before, watch out because he is absolutely entertaining. He's also pretty good on the racetrack, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, pretty okay. You know, okay on the racetrack. Yeah, but yeah. I, I'll tell you that you Yes, I'm pretty yeah, good. I mean, you did win in Indianapolis. Okay. You won in a lot of places that last year. You St. Pete, Barbara. Yes. You yes. spun yes. out and won too. I mean, yeah, last year was uh, very impressive. The, the one I was most impressed was mid Ohio at the end in the rain. I, I haven't driven in the rain in such a long time. And we yeah, kinda... probably from your Europe days. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, it was surprisingly did pretty good. Actually, do I have a picture? I think I have a, no, I don't have it anymore. I think it got uh, moved downstairs, but I have a picture of me in the go-kart and it's like, I'm driving through like a massive pond and it's just yeah. water, like, uh, like so high off the, the car. Yeah, I thought yeah, it's gone, go. just like you, just like your days of drinking coffee. It's okay. Well, it's not go. Okay, look, all got <laughs> all the memories over here. It's not gone. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to find every single way to get out of you <laughs> It's so much fun. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right, David. Always good to talk to you, man. We'll have you on in a couple months uh, before the, before we, you know, we'll preview race or something. I don't know. All right. We'll talk to you then, man. Thank you. See you.